guys, welcome back to my channel. I know this video is long overdue. I have a video in which I share the reasons why I decided to choose a community college nursing program. Now, with that being said, that video I will link up here. And if I am, for whatever reason, unable to link it up here, I'm going to put it down in the description box so you can just click on the link and watch that video if you're interested. And also, I have more links in which I share more videos that you guys can also watch that are related to this topic. So anyways, I really wanted to make this video because I get all these questions a lot. So I figured I could just make one video for you guys where you guys could all come and get your answers. And if I do not answer your question, please comment down below. I will respond. I try to respond to everybody. Let's get right into the video. I have them written here on my phone. Oh, yes. I do want to say that just because I chose community college nursing program, that is not the only route that you can take. You can also just go directly into a bachelor's nursing program and do it that way or you can go into like the master's entry level program you could do that as well there's many different options and i've made a video about that and i'll also link down below and up here but you guys just because i did it that doesn't mean that this is the only way to do nursing i just want you to know that there's many other routes you don't just have to do community college it is a cheaper and route i also Wait. want to mention that i will be mentioning in this video what prereqs i took to get into the nursing program but please 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 do your research and first find out what different nursing programs are available to you near you in your state find out which programs are available talk to a counselor and find out which prerequisite classes that specific nursing program needs okay because I don't know I'm just telling you my experience and I'm just telling you what classes I took that doesn't mean that every community college in the world has those same exact prerequisites so please do your own research and anyways let's get into the video so I do get asked at what age did I start doing the prereqs and that was at the age of 17 I finished high school at 17 when I was 17 and I finished it in May and then I started summer school in June. So I pretty much went through school like nonstop for many years. And that's why I graduated as a registered nurse at the age of 21. That's also another question that I get a lot. So now the prerequisite classes that I took were biology, anatomy, physiology, chemistry microbiology those were the science and then i also had to take sociology psychology and then also the other prereq was like a minimum of an intermediate algebra and also an english class now to get into those science classes for example let me see if i could try to explain this the easiest way possible you have to do them in order so you have to do biology first in order to qualify to get into the anatomy class and so forth so you can't just jump around and choose what class you want to take first there's prerequisites to get into the prerequisite classes if that makes any sense make sure you do your own research and find out and just because i'm mentioning here an english class that doesn't mean that it's any English class. It's going to be a specific English level class that you need to take in order to get into the program. So let's say that your English is not that good. Once you graduate high school, before getting into community college, you have to take a test. Now, I don't remember what that test is called. It's been so long, but the, depending on those tests, that will tell you which English class you will be in, which math class you will be in, and then you pretty much have to work your way up until you get to the class that you need to do to get into the prerequisites. Okay, so let's say that you're graduating from high school and you take that test to get into the community college and you qualify to get into a beginner's algebra. So for me, for my program, I had to do a minimum of an intermediate algebra. So if I had to do beginner's algebra and then that means that I have to do that class first 
and then I have to go into intermediate algebra to even qualify to get into the nursing program. So there's prerequisite classes to get into the prerequisite classes. I hope that makes sense, you guys. So passing uh, grade is a C or better. For me, we had to have a GPA of 2.5 or better in order to qualify to get into the nursing program. So I hope that makes sense. 2.5 or better. If you decide to go into like a university, the GPA is gonna be higher. So just keep that in mind. Before I forget, in order to get into the nursing program after you take your prereqs, there's also another test that you need to take called the T's test, which is T-E-A-S. T's test. Now, for me, from what I remember, I believe the passing percentage for that test like nine years ago was like in the 70s, but I was doing research and I guess now it's 62% or higher, which kind of seems low to me, but I guess they dropped down the minimum percentage that you need to get in order to get into the nursing program. Also, another question that I do get a lot is how long did it take me to do the prerequisites? So the prerequisites took me about two years to finish. So like I said, I went in at 17 and then maybe like at 19 I finished. And then I started the nursing program at the age of 20 and I finished it at the age of 21. Now, I've mentioned in other videos, but I got into the nursing program because I was sponsored through the hospital where I was working at and that's how I got into the nursing program and I, that's why I didn't have to wait so long. I didn't have to do the lottery system or anything like that because the hospital sponsored me into the program. Now with that being said, because I was doing the nursing program, at that time it was called the paradigm program. In that cohort there was only hospital employees that were sponsored to get into the class so it took us 18 months to finish the nursing program but i know like for everybody else who wasn't sponsored by their hospital to get into the nursing program it did take them two years which is 24 months it's not that bad but it's just faster so i am going to try to explain a little bit of how my sponsorship for the nursing program worked um, because I also got questions on this, but the way it works for me, it's not available anymore that I know of, but the way it worked was that I still had to pay for my classes. I paid for my books, for all my supplies, and then I would take the receipts to my hospital and then they would reimburse me that money. So I didn't give all my receipts to the hospital, but I did give them most of them. So I did get reimbursed, which meant that because they got me into the nursing program, I had to work for them for a certain amount of time depending on how much they reimbursed me. So I did work for them for four years, but my contract said that I only had to work for them three years. So yeah, it all worked out. It was like good because I still got experience. They still helped me. So it was a win-win for both the hospital and for myself. Also, something that I really want to mention that is very important, you know, in college or like in school, like your passing is 70% C for a C grade. For in nursing school, you have to have a minimum of a 76% in order to pass with a C. So the grading skill in nursing school does change, which is crazy, but uh, it does change. I don't know how it is now, but at that time, that's how it was. 76% was passing grade for a C, not 70. So another question that I get is whether I have my bachelor's degree or not. And yes, I do have it. I decided to wait a few years after I graduated from my associate's degree nursing program because I wanted to save up money in order for me to pay for my bachelor's because I didn't want to get tuition assistance. So yes, I do have it and I did get my bachelor's in 2015. I graduated with my associates back in 2011. So it's been a while. Before I forget, I need, need, need to mention this. Please, please make sure that the nursing program that you decide to attend is a program that is accredited with your state. And also you guys, it's important that you do your own research. I, I cannot stress that enough. 
I can give you all the advice in the world, but you need to do your own research because if you don't do that research, you do not want to be in a situation, you guys, where you find a nursing program and then you find out midway or at the end of the program that that program is not accredited and you're going to be in big, big trouble because maybe, maybe they won't let you get your RN license because it's not accredited or you will have issues getting into a bachelor's program because that school wasn't accredited so your credits will not transfer over so please you guys do your research the other thing it may affect is depending on the workplace if you have a nursing license from a program that is not accredited and you don't have a bachelor's and you want to work at a certain workplace that workplace may not want to hire you because you went to a nursing program that is not accredited so for example at the last workplace where i applied they were not accepting nurses who graduated from the nursing program that i went to because that school is not accredited now because i had a bachelor's i got lucky and I was able to get into that hospital. I tried my best to answer as many questions as I could, at least the frequently asked questions. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below. I try my best to respond to everybody and make sure to like this video. Make sure to also ring the bell for notifications and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.